In this lesson, we'll be having a look at a third-party web wallet. The case study for this lesson will be a website called Holy Transaction. Web wallets are a really easy, convenient way to store your decred. However, there are a few caveats. Firstly, there is no staking capabilities with a web wallet. In order to do this, you have to download a local wallet, such as Decrediton. As well as this, a web wallet is only as secure as the connection you are making to the web wallet. If your security is compromised, so are your funds. Unless the wallet data is saved in the browser cache and a seed is generated, you essentially give custody of your funds to the web wallet service. And for example, if the service is hacked, it highly reduces the chance of you ever regaining your funds. This is why it's broadly recommended that those that are holding funds for long periods of time keep their funds in a local wallet such as Decrediton or even in a cold storage hardware wallet solution. With the security vulnerabilities explained, it's now time to focus on the convenience that web wallets offer. Holy Transaction is a multi-currency wallet with an exchange built in. Upon signing in, it will take you to a balance screen. On this promotional asset, we can clearly see a null amount, an address, and also an information button. Within, I can find more information on the network. By navigating back to the balance page, I can click on this cog icon. This will bring up the ability to show and hide assets. For this example, I'm going to turn on Decred and Litecoin. At this point, it's worth noting a few of the settings available in the settings menu. Here you can see all of the usual suspects, however a security feature worth noting is two-factor authentication, known in short as 2FA. 2FA is a brilliant security feature that adds an incredibly high barrier to those looking to compromise your account. There is also the option to receive an email when a payment is received or sent. Within the web wallet, there is a built-in exchange. This allows users to exchange assets within a relatively simple interface. In the top right-hand corner, there are some basic localization settings, allowing you to view your portfolio in both US dollar and Euro. There is also the ability to see your portfolio in the assets shown in your wallet. Spend is exactly what it says on the tin. It shows you places where you can spend. Now I'm going to copy my Decred address to the clipboard. By double clicking on the address, I can also bring it up inside of the Block Explorer. In the background, I've sent some Decred to this address. The null value on the Decred wallet has now been replaced with zero Decred with a number below. This is an unconfirmed transaction. I must now wait for 6 confirmations on the blockchain before the funds are spendable. You can change the presentation between a grid and a list reference. This can be done by pressing the two icons in the top right hand corner. In a list configuration, it can be easier to locate commonly used operations. I receive an email saying that the funds are now spendable. In the Buy tab, you can make buy orders based on assets in your wallet. Here you can see I can place a Litecoin order based on the Decred in my wallet. Please take due care and attention when committing to orders. On pressing Next, it will ask you if you'd like to confirm your order. The order has been confirmed and the transaction listed in Recent Transactions. With the Litecoin in the Litecoin wallet, now is a good opportunity to send the funds out of the exchange. In this instance, I'm going to use a QR code created by a popular exchange app. Whichever method you use, make sure that you check the address that you're sending it to, as transactions are irreversible. You may need to input a one-time password or unlock an account in order to send the funds.
With the transaction on the blockchain, the coins have been sent. This marks the end of this tutorial. Web wallets can be extremely convenient, some even offer additional utilities like the exchange we've explored today. Please note there are security vulnerabilities that aren't present in a local wallet. Take this into consideration when choosing to use a web wallet service. On a final note, Holy Transaction is not an official Decred product. Please direct any support inquiries to the relevant channels. Thank you.